Morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again for being with us this beautiful Friday morning. Tonight, we begin all of the 14 services this weekend. Friday night services, both here and East Campus, I'm going to be teaching on John 17. The High Priestly Prayer of Christ is prayer for glorification. It is a fascinating study. I'll look forward to seeing you there. But right now, let's go back to the book of Psalms, chapter 89. I know we're starting lots of new books today, and it's all very exciting, but if we're not careful, we'll blow right by an incredible truth of the character of God here in the book of Psalms. Let me begin reading with verse 30. If his sons forsake my law and do not follow my decrees, if they violate my decrees and do not keep my commands, I will punish their sin with a rod, their iniquity with flogging. But I will not take my love from him, nor will I ever betray my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant or alter what my lips have uttered. Brothers and sisters, our sin does not change God. Now you just need to wrap your brain around that a little bit. The sins of other people don't change the character of God. He said, just because man sins doesn't mean I'm going to change what I have said. Just because people sin, it doesn't change who I am. I'm not going to violate my faithfulness. I'm not going to violate what I have said. I'm not going to betray my love. I'm not going to change because people change. Yes, they will receive the wages of their sin, but they're not going to change who I am. Now, brothers and sisters, what a beautiful truth for you and I to learn to live by in life. What other people do, I'm sorry we can't control, but we can stay in control of ourselves. God does not allow the actions and the sins of other people to change who He is. You and I should learn to imitate God. It doesn't matter what other people do. Do not let their actions, do not let their attitudes, do not let their desires, do not let what they say change who you are. What a beautiful truth about God. It encourages us about this is what God is like. And what a beautiful truth about imitating God. Don't let what other people do change the godly character in our lives.